Hi everyone, I'm Magoobidge. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new series. Now, thinking about a new challenge on the safe, I'm wondering what I'm going to do. Last season, I did an FM20 challenge where I used a plug and play tactic that I plugged in the very first day of the very first season with Gateshead and just kept it for 20 seasons, didn't change it or amend it. All we did in games was shout at the players and make substitutions. And after 20 seasons, 200 episodes, we won it all. Premier League, Champions Leagues, FA Cups, League Cups, Club World Cups. It was amazing. So this time around, rather than just do that, I want to go on a little bit of a journey. So I'm going to start in with the English leagues loaded, Irish, Northern Irish, Scottish and Welsh. I'm going to start as an unemployed manager. I'm going to take the first job that's offered to me after some interviews and then see where my career takes me. The whole aim is to start off as an unemployed manager on the dole, signing on to finish up as Champions League winners. That's the idea. That's the premise. That's the basis of this save. So let's get into it. So guys, as you can see here listed, my managerial experience is literally unknown. Reputation, just a Sunday league footballer. I mean, look at my ratings. I've got one for I've put tactical as my coaching. Uh, four out of ten. Everything else is a one. Determination, discipline and man management as twos and the mental side. I am literally the worst possible manager that can be. The worst ratings that you can possibly get. And I'm going to go into this game. Now, there are some jobs that are available. So if I go to the job centre, let's look at the manager role. So managers, Waterford in Ireland, Chesterfield, Vanarama National League, Wigan, Derby. I have to see what happens. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on holiday. I'm going to apply for jobs, any clubs, and let's just see what happens. See who offers me an interview, and then we go from there. There you go. So I'm just going to wait until I get offered an interview. It could be at any stage during the course of the season. It could be beginning of the season. It could be halfway through. I don't know. But the whole purpose of this save is that you start as the, the lowest possible manager and just see where it goes. What I have learned when you're doing this sort of thing before is it's imperative you get your coaching badges done, your reputation increases, and you become more aware, or other clubs become more aware of you, and you can move up the leagues. So I'm going to sit here unemployed. I'm already on the 18th of August. Let's see what happens. Here we go. I've been hired as Undy Athletics Manager. We are 15th place currently in the Simru South League. Deary me. So let's have a look here. Reputation is literally half a star. They've got a thousand capacity. They're in the Welsh League. Let's just have a look and to see what's going on here. Undy High Magoobridge in a landmark season. Their 50th season under a new manager. Deary me. Players that are in the last contracts. He's rated five stars. We'll have a look at this in just a second. Expectation review. Simru, JD Simru South. So you've got the Simru North, the Premier League. So obviously we are aiming to just try and get ourselves safe this season, then kick off into the Premier League and then see how we go. Tactical direction, create the tactic. Right, the same route one, direct counter, 442 seems to be the way. So I'm going to use my tactic I used last season, I think. Football Manager FM 2020, tactics. The lower league special. It served me so well at Gateshead. It's basically an attacking 4-4-2. You've got a goalkeeper on defend, two fullbacks on support, centre defenders are both defenders, your two wingers are wingers attack, your centre midfielders are centre mid midfielders support, and two pressing forwards on attack. As you can see, in possession you play out of defence, low crosses and overlaps. Transition you distribute to flanks, counter counter press. Out of possession, high defensive line, high line of engagement, urgent, prevent the short, short goalkeeper distribution. You get it stuck in and use the offside trap. My squad looks like this. So Paul Clayton is rated the best as a centre-back star player. Don't forget, this is the ratings of the assistant managers. So Mazala. So I'm going to go through the team and the squad. I mean, look at this. It's not great at all, is it? The guy with the most potential... Is Jordan Rathbone. Look at the state of him. So it's going to be a bit of a big ass. Let's have a look at my staff. 
So all my staff, I've got a director of football, Andrew Cox, judging player abilities one, negotiating's two, deary me. Lee Relish, assistant manager on part time, ability four, potential two, man management five, deary me. Physio, is he decent? Four for physiotherapy. So let's have a look. How many play how many more can I bring in? Not a lot. So Responsibilities, what I normally do is I go hire and fire in the assistant, the director of football goes to the chairman, technical di director goes to the chairman, loan manager, director of football, head of youth development, director of football, chief scout goes director of football, under 19 manager, director of football, coaching staff, director of football, medical. I haven't got time to go through, to be honest with you, all the staff. Renewing his contract, the chairman, technical director is the chairman, and then loan manager, director of football. So he looks after the contracts for the staff, basically. So then what I do is I move down to the actual transfers. One second. Right, I handle the team selection, of course. Scouting meetings, fine. I initiate players', players signings, negotiating players' signings, director of football. Finalising signings, director of football, initiating player sales. Right, so I'm negotiating, or I'm initiating player sales and player purchases. The director of football is doing the others. Okay, new signing press conference, not bothered about that. Director of football can do that. Domestic cup press conferences goes to my assistant to give him experience of doing that. So in this case, general training will be the assistant manager and... The individual training when I get up the league and I can go professional I can bring in the the actual training schedules that I need friendly matches it goes to the assistant manager as well I'm not bothered about that that's it so confirm those so we've taken over the 28th of October we've got a game coming up in three days so let's move forward and play the first game choose a captain I'm not going to change anything keep them as they are so it's going to be a bit interesting this series, I have to say. We're starting in the, the South League in, in Wales. That's where we're going to start. And then hopefully, within a season or two, we can look to, to try and improve. Let's have a look at their finances. 2,000. We've only got 210 wage budget, 210 pounds, and we're spending 250. Scouting. Right, part-time contract, very good signing, offer trial to him. Players scouted. People are literally worth, I mean, Evan Lloyd, a fullback. Deary me, this is going to be a real big ask. this save. <laughs> this really will. Okay, introduce myself to the squad. Right, so they're all content and encouraged overall, which is a positive. I'm just going to see what I've got. Development centre, under-19 squad. I haven't got a clue. Have not got a clue. Let's go into the first game. I'm excited with a new challenge. User suggested squad. We'll go with that for the time being. Undy brace for a low turnout. The average attendance is 156 people. Marvellous. So over the course of the season, obviously things are going to change and hopefully get better. So let's just have a look here. Club vision. So this season, we need to finish top half. <laughs> a bit of an ask isn't it let's have a look let's see what happens here so i'm just going to work my way through so let's have a look at my team so we're playing port talbot and port talbot are up in seventh at the moment they're asking me to do all this but i'm going to stick with my tactic so my team is con free in goal he's two one half star ability five star potential he's only 18 i've got raf bone as my right back Again, one and a half star ability, four and a half star potential. I've got Clayton, who's one of my main players at centre back. He's all right, he'll do a job. Connie Young, no nonsense centre back, he's all right for this league. Three and a half star ability, five star potential. Left back, I've got Kel Stevens, fringe player. I'm going to try and improve these players over the course of the season just to get through it. Yarman is a winger. It's not too bad. He'll do a job. Okay, in the middle of midfield, Thomas Wright is a good player. Five-star ability, five-star potential. He looks outstanding. 
Curtis Reese is another one. Carrillero. He's not too bad. Oliver Smith. More of a wing back, but he's asked to play as a winger today. I have to have a look at that. And up front, Ryan Hudson. Strength two. Fringe players. Some of these players are wanted. So, Gullimore. Looks to be a better option than... Is he not fit? Lacking in match sharpness. But he's a better option than Hudson, surely. Thompson, who's a left back. Deary me, not good. Parry's a centre half. He's not good either, is he? Deary me. Dan Yarman, Yarman inverted winger. Risa Hearn. All these players on the bench are all surplus to requirements by the looks of it. Look, might not have the ability. Right. So no, so I can't make, name anybody else. So that's going to be my team, which isn't great. Let's see how we get on the first day. Plan this attacking formation. Attack the league. Let's just see how we go. No instructions, right? Hands together. We're the underdogs here. So this is the first game in the series as manager of Andy. There's no one in the stands. I need to make some changes to the views, of course. And we're going to go key highlights and we're going to go just to here. Right, that should be that. And we've actually started with a highlight. We've actually got ourselves a throw on the right hand side. Rathbone to take it. I need to make, look at the size of these throws. Has anybody else noticed this? The throws in Football Manager 2021. Are just unbelievable. What a tackle that is from Young. Great challenge. One thing I forgot to do in this tactic is you have to have your fullbacks taking the throw ins and the corners on their own side. So there's Miami Blue suit on the sideline. Smith makes a run for it all the way down the byline. Finds Cullimore, and Cullimore scores the first goal for Andy. The first goal in my managerial career in this save. And the, the couple of fans in the stands are going wild here. Smith with a good run down the wing just stands it up and Cullimore comes off the back of the two defenders and puts the ball in the back of the net and we're 1-0 up after three minutes. Outstanding. Highlight continues. Straight from the kickoff. Great challenges there from my right winger. Launched himself safely but launched himself and we got ourselves a second but it's offside. Reese Thomas is offside. and That was unlucky. I'm going to start using clubs as stepping stones. I'm going to do a couple of seasons and then move on. A minimum of about three seasons each club and see if I can work my way up. As I say, starting on the dull, hopefully finishing with glory. We're 4 4 2. We're playing well at the minute. They've got the highlight and they launched the ball forward, but we've managed to win it well and Smith's alive to it. Quicker than everybody else, let's just say that. And there's the second goal. Great goal. Reese with a good ball forward to Thomas. Does himself a little roly poly. He's that excited. But what happened here? Look, they were so slow. Smith collects the ball, plays it back to Reese. Good first time ball. And Thomas, first time finish, left footed on the volley, finds the corner, and we're winning 2 0. I wondered if this 4 4 2 tactic would work. The 4 4 2 is recommended by my assistant manager. Let's just go with it and see how we go. Obviously, with different clubs, different leagues, we might have to amend it and play different formations. But for Andy in the Welsh League, this is how we're going to start. Of course, there's a get stuck in instruction. I've got four players booked already. Half time with 2 0 up on the opening game of my managerial career. Pump fists. You've played well. There's still room for improvement. I need to keep an eye on my players' fitness. Shout for the first time. Encourage the players. 2-0 up. Playing well. Fitness levels are dropping and I've lost my left winger. So Yarman can play there. So he's come on. I'm going to have to try and sign some free transfers. For no money whatsoever. But this win takes us up to 10th currently. Which is good. Let's have a look at my players. Let's see if I can make some more changes. With 15 minutes to go. So who's not performing? Yarman recovering from a knock. 
Gidney, where can he play? Middle of midfield. So you can come on. I don't need you to come on. Actually, you're doing all right. Who's not performing? My left back's not performing. So Kel Stevens comes off and Thompson comes on for him. I can't really make any more changes. Let's just stick with them the last 15 minutes. Hopefully we're going to stay and win this game and start off my managerial career in Football Manager 2021 with a win, which will be amazing. Looks as though we've won it. We've won the game 2-0. Me and my blue suit, celebrating. Really special lads. No one gave us a chance. Well done. So with that, we go up to 10th on 8 points. We're still 12 points behind the league leaders, Carmarvin. But this is going to be... So I've got a player out straight away, 3 to 4 weeks, which is brilliant. Let's praise Young's performance. Put an arm around him. Defensive work was good. Comfrey made his debut, the 18-year-old goalkeeper, and kept a clean sheet. Let's just go through this schedule-wise. So, I mean, look at this run. They were on. So, I'm going to play through a bit. I'm going to play the rest of November and come through to the beginning of December. I know we've got Carmarthen coming up. I think we might get battered in that game. I still need to improve the squad. So, join me, beginning of December, to, to play Riska and Trefellin in the next video. Hopefully, you enjoy the... The, the premise of this series, hopefully it's going to be entertaining and intriguing. But we start off with a win with a, with a team that's woeful. <laughs> it can only get better. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video for me. Drop the like on the, on the video. Then subscribe to the channel. But make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it. See you tomorrow.